Charles, the showers, they're still hanging on, but they're fairly light, but they're coming to an end. And as we go through the overnight tonight, the sky will clear out. We'll get back to some sunshine during the day tomorrow, and our temperatures are going to warm up. It's been cool because we've been behind this area of low pressure that has been bringing us the cloud cover and the rain shower activity. So once that moves on, Temperatures are there are going to start to climb and we're into a batch of clearing. We may see a pop up shower during the day on Thursday and a few more showers on Friday. But notice all the 20s are just sort of surrounding us here. So as soon as that low continues to sink down to the south and gets out of the way, we're no longer going to be seeing daytime highs in the teens. We'll get back to the lower 20s and then as we go through the end of the week, we'll gradually warm up to the mid 20s and by the weekend we will be into the mid 20s. And by the end of the weekend, we're talking about some summertime temperatures starting to arrive for us. So let's take a look at what's going on with your future weather makers. That low again, still sinking down toward the south. Here comes your ridge of high pressure. That'll clear the sky. That will bring us the sunshine during the day tomorrow. But we're still technically on the cooler side of it, even though our temperatures are going to be warming up because we have been under this cloud cover. So with some sunshine during the day tomorrow, we'll get back into the lower 20s. As we get toward the end of the week, that ridge of high pressure continues to move a bit for us, and that'll allow some of that warmer air to start working its way in. Then by the end of the weekend, the summertime heat is here as we'll start to get into a southwest wind, and those temperatures will find their way into the lower 30s. Thursday, we could see a little bit of lake breeze showers because that ridge of high pressure is not parked right on top of us. Uh, so there won't be anything to sort of stop that uh, convergence where they could start to see a few of those showers popping up. But again, during the day tomorrow, it is going to be nothing but sunshine after a few high thin morning clouds. So blue sky throughout the afternoon, a clear sky overnight into the day on Thursday. Once you get into Thursday midday, it looks like we're going to start to see a few of those towering cumulus popping up across the north end of the GTA. And then by the evening, we could see an isolated shower, possibly even a thunderstorm firing up for those Lake Breeze boundaries, which is usually out toward Kitchener Waterloo, uh, out toward the Fergus Mount Forest area. So that'll be the corridor. We'll continue to watch that potential for those isolated showers. And then on Friday, a few more showers coming our way as we'll get a weak system moving through the area. Temperatures will be near 13 degrees this evening, 9 degrees to start the day, 19 by midday with sunshine and a light wind. And then into the afternoon, wind shifts to the south. We'll be up to 21, a little cooler along the lake shore with those uh, winds up to 20 kilometers per hour. So it looks like this, 21 degrees during the day tomorrow. And then we're up to 25 by Thursday, and it is going to be a partly cloudy sky with those isolated showers. A few more scattered showers during the day on Friday. A little bit cooler because we'll add a little bit more cloud cover. Uh, so 24 degrees expected, and then 25 on Saturday. Morning cloud, afternoon sunshine, looking great. Sunday we're into the 30s. And it's going to feel like 37 or so 36 to 37 is what we're looking at humid X value wise as we go through a good chunk of the first part of next week. We may see a few spots hit that 40 humid X mark with some instant summer starting to arrive.